In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. For in him, all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. This week we're heading down to Cambridge, Ohio. We're going to meet up with some good friends at a Whitetails and a Limited Banquet and uh, have some food and some fellowship. Then we're heading down to Bethel Baptist Church as I speak and we're going to chase some turkeys. It's going to be an episode you don't want to miss. All right, we just got here. We're in Cambridge, Ohio. This is the Ohio Big Buck Whitetails and Limited event. This is an awesome event. They're expecting 650 people. Come along, check this place out. Go and check out some prizes. They got guns, bows, they got all kinds of good stuff. And tacticams. They got tacticams. There's always more room for deer size. Preparation is vital to success. But what is vital to preparation? For hunters, it's a high quality, reliable target. That is why, at Walk on Archery, we have spent hours honing our skills and perfecting our methods to help you perfect yours. From practice to play, and from play to the stand, we're with you every step of the way. Because we don't just make targets, we make better hunters.
This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Whitetails Unlimited. Well, we are super excited. There is no better way than to celebrate the tr tradition of being an outdoorsman to do it with my brothers and sisters at a Whitetails Unlimited banquet. Food, fellowship, prizes, and supporting an American tradition. Folks, this is what it's all about. If that don't make you hungry, nothing will. We got another guy here, he's kind of a homegrown boy. He started out hunting in Guernsey County, he had his camp down here, and he, uh, he makes his little bit of ministry with the outdoors. He has a TV show on the Pursuit Network. It's called Created Outdoors, and he's a heck of a hunter, and uh, he's here tonight with his camera crew. You see these guys around the room, they're gonna be filming for their show coming up on the Pursuit channel. But if I could for a second, I'd like to bring Doug DeHartpart up to the front. And Doug is working on uh, being a pastor at his church and a professional hunter. And uh, if you can all remove your hats, I'm going to have Doug lead us in our prayer here tonight. Awesome. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for Good Friday, Lord. Thank you for your death and your resurrection that we're getting ready to celebrate on Sunday. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to be sportsmen and to enjoy the creation that you put before us, Lord. Every day that we are blessed to be in the woods, every turkey we hear gobble, every deer we hear walk in the woods on a cold, frosty morning, Lord, you created those moments to bring glory to you. Lord, thank you for our veterans. Thank you for those who are serving. Lord, we just pray that you would bless this food and nourish our bodies. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. You got it? Bob Whiskey, you writing this stuff down? Okay, here we go. Next winner is the orange ticket 070 all right well i'm starting to pay attention to what this auctioneer is talking about and the only thing i could hear was illinois shotgun hunt three days nobody's bidding i had to do the supportive thing to support whitetails unlimited honey i'm sorry but we're going to illinois This is what their mainstream media will tell you. 
this is who we are out there in that room right now. Having a good time. Doug, thank you so much for all your help. Awesome, brother. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you down the road. Yep. I hear you got a big trip ahead of you, so yep. safe travels. We'll see you back in the Buckeye State for some awesome. long Appreciate you, buddy. Take a look back to your very first hunt. Who were you with? What were you hunting? In that very moment, your legacy began. Whether you know it or not, we all have a ritual. It may be that lucky pair of socks or your routine before or after a hunt. Whatever it may be, trust that hunt to the most shootable and efficient bow ever developed. Honor the ritual. We have been trusted on some of the most significant projects around the world. And now we're in the heartland of America. Our products dig deep, lift more and stack higher with a warranty you can depend on. Soon you'll realize that trusting our quality changes the world. Check our website for a dealer near you. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by iSupply. Well, we had an awesome time at the Whitetails Limited Banquet. And the only thing I could think about, spring 2018, the first trip of the year, we are heading to Tennessee. All right, we just got to the cabin. It's a sweet little place. We're gonna unload the truck, go in, and uh, check out the accommodations, then go scout some birds. When we get there, we meet Larry Porter. He's driving us around. He's showing us his awesome farms. We're making a game plan to ambush these turkeys. All right, it's the first morning in Tennessee. You know, you travel south, you're thinking warmer weather, greener grass. Nope, Ohio followed us. It's snowing and the wind is blowing and the turkeys, they're not talking. It's our first morning here in Northwest Tennessee. It's cold, it's warmer in Ohio. It's about 34 degrees. Snowing. Get to speak tonight at Bethel Baptist Church with Larry Porter at his home church. I think we're just gonna pack up and sneak out of here. Know where our, know our spot for tomorrow. I think we'll make that our plan. We can get in here early, sneak down the hill. It's only like 16 miles, felt like to walk down here. 
But, uh, yeah, let's pack up and we'll head out of here. Well, we're heading to Bethel Baptist, and uh, actually, we're going to head to Larry Porter's first. Make sure he's got everything he needs. And we're going to go. We're going to get the table set up. Start praying what the Lord's going to do tonight. And we're off. Well, what, a, what an awesome opportunity to speak at Bethel Baptist Church and to meet new friends and brothers, uh, and more importantly, gain new brothers and sisters in Christ. We had several salvations, a lot of rededications, uh, a lot of tears, and a lot of release of things that we hold on to from life, you know, that we have to deal with and go through. Um, man, that was just a phenomenal opportunity uh, to share my heart, and it's something that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. For sales and service you can count on, choose Vanderveer Chevrolet. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Lynch Mob Game Calls. Call your own game. Well, it's morning number two. You know, the turkeys were not talking. Everything was wet, it was still cold. These turkeys were, uh, I think, out of their normal conditions for what the time of year was. Um, it's tough. We gotta, we gotta stay after them. Well, it's morning number three. We had a short hunt yesterday. Today we have all day, we have nothing going on. We can focus on turkeys. And we're going to farm. There were seven birds on a trail camera that we had out here. So we think tomorrow, this morning is going to be the morning. The, the moon's bright. It's supposed to get up to 61 degrees. It's going to be 43 degrees by 9 o'clock. Uh, the barometric pressure is at a good, good stable level. I mean, I think it's going to be a really good morning. My gut tells me turkeys are going to flop. Let's hit the road. We're going to listen, and then we're going to move. 5.02 a.m. Well, these birds just aren't acting right and uh, we had several different spots to go scout and it's like 11 o'clock we're gonna jump in the truck we got a little bit of time left to get it done and uh, we're gonna start driving and see if we can spot any birds in some of these fields 
Well, we pulled up to this field that Larry showed us a couple days prior, and uh, we look in this field, and it's got a big, huge funnel that goes down into it, and there's nothing. We can't see anything. And uh, we're getting ready to leave, and Matthew says, hey, you should throw your mouth call in and see if you can get one to talk. And I thought, hey, that's pretty good. Why didn't I think of that? You know, so I wind the window down on my truck. I put the lynch mob in. I give a couple soft yelps out the window, and <laughs> one hammers back. I look over at Matthew, and I said, grab your stuff. Let's go. And he's looking at me like, he thinks I'm joking, but I'm out of the truck. I'm getting dressed. We're chasing this bird. All right, we just pulled in here. I blew the mouth call in the truck. This bird gobble. It's not 100 yards away. We're going to scoot over this hill so the truck's out of sight. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. All right, we got one gobble and his brain's out down over the hill, so. We're gonna do some calling. We're gonna try to get that bird to come up here. He's on fire. We pulled in, he gobbled from the truck. We know he's a hot bird. Good job, dude. <laughs> Good job. You know, this is uh, this is just the bonus to this trip. You now we come down here and try not to get too choked up. But we come down here because we were asked to speak at a church. We were asked to share a story and. You know, to share the story of my life and what God's done to bless me and the things that He's brought me through. We all have a story to tell. And the question is, how do you use it to glorify Christ? You know, and we came down here and we're fortunate to see four people uh, accept Jesus seven people rededicate their lives and this is like a cherry on the ice cream sundae for me <laughs> thank you Lord well you know when mr. Porter called me and asked me to come down to Tennessee and it was truly a blessing to be able to go down and speak to the church and have a couple hundred people show up you know and then the emotion of, of, of uh, shooting the turkey when the, when the whole thing comes together and you realize that God called you somewhere and that He can deliver you through things, but He can also deliver you to things by allowing the blessing of an amazing turkey and to be able to share that memory with a good friend, Matthew Swarndanko. What an awesome story and an awesome God we serve. He deserves all the glory. He's so good. Nobody, 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 nobody even knows my name.